CloudSave is amazing, and by the end of this video, you'll be scrambling to install it in your project. But what is it? CloudSave is a service provided by Unity, which allows you to save and load player data. Where traditionally you'd need to write an API, host a server and connect a database, CloudSave takes care of all that for you. To put it simply, if there is any player data you'd like to save in your game, for example, the character slots in a Pokemon game, CloudSave will handle that for you. Let's take a look at some real world examples of how you could use CloudSave in your game. Have you ever downloaded a game you love only to find that the old save from years ago is waiting for you? CloudSave can accomplish this for your game. Or how about allowing players to continue their game across multiple devices, such as PlayStation, PC, mobile, and Xbox? This is another feature that CloudSave can offer. Why make players configure your game settings each time they install it, when you could simply back up their favorite configuration and load it the next time they install your game? If we look to the mobile game market, CloudSave can help with things like daily login rewards or keeping track of what items users have purchased from the store, such as starter packs, which are generally limited to one per player. Whether you have a single player or a multiplayer game, CloudSave can benefit your project. And the best part is that CloudSave has a generous free tier, so you won't have to pay until your game reaches a significant player count, at which point you're most likely profitable and the cost would be negligible. To install CloudSave in your project, just search for it in the package manager, if this is the first Unity service that you've installed, you'll probably get this linking window. Either create a new project, or if you've previously created a project for this Unity game in your dashboard, then link it to that. All right, so let's have a look at the code and how to actually use CloudSave. To save a piece of data, we insert it into a dictionary and call the force save async function. We use a dictionary because it allows you to save multiple pieces of data in parallel. Each entry requires a key for lookup and the data itself. When loading data, we create a hash set of the keys that we want to gather and call the load async function. This gives us a dictionary with the return data, which we can extract using the corresponding key. If you're working with more complex data like a class, Unity handles the serialization for you when saving. However, when loading, you'll need to handle deserialization yourself. You'll notice I'm using Newtonsoft here over the traditional JSON utility. That's because Unity is making a push to Newtonsoft and actually use it in the CloudSave SDK. Honestly, I do find it a little bit puzzling that CloudSave SDK doesn't abstract this deserialization from you, but maybe we can expect that in a future update. In the meantime though, I have written a neat little wrapper to simplify CloudSave usage. And while using this wrapper, the usage looks something like this. Pretty damn simple. To help you get started with CloudSave, I've created a fun little game for you to download and play with. The game features a character select screen with three potential slots, all of which are saved to CloudSave. Once you select a character and jump into the game, you can level up by pressing this button and your progress will be saved asynchronously in the background. In this game, I'm calling the save function on every level up press, but your game might auto save on a timer or maybe when the player hits a collider or just finishes a level. You can get the project down in the description. I've also included a separate link if you just want the cloud save wrapper that I wrote, if that's really all you're interested in. Happy developing my lovelies.